Julie has written in and said, our 15 year old hardly speaks and spends way too much time in his room. He only comes out to eat, shower and use the restroom. He refuses to go anywhere and refuses to cut his hair. With COVID-19, his so socialization has critically decreased. Uh, telecounseling starts next week and they said help. Well, there's been, I've talked to several, two uh, boys that got totally addicted to video games. And one of the things that saved them, now I realize this would be hard to do now, is they got interested in fixing cars and doing robotics. And for one of the students, um, he's now fixing cars. Another one is fixing trains for the railroad. And they found out that mechanics was more interesting than video games. Mm -hmm. So what we got to do is give him a replacement for whatever he's doing in his room. You have to replace it with something else. Now, when I... I I, I like to make things. That's why I came up with this little book, uh, a little book calling all minds. Um, it's all my childhood things to make. Some of these things, people could make things. We've got to figure out other stuff to do, but you have to replace the video game with something else. Now, and with all this stuff going on now with COVID, these games where people could talk to each other, a certain amount of that I think would be good. Five hours a day, no, but maybe an hour or so a day to... Um, you know, talk to their friends online, um, but you have to replace it with something else. So, see, the first thing I'm going to ask the parents, does this kid like to do anything else other than playing video games? I'm going to assume that he's doing either that or movies or something like that constantly. Well, and we'll wait to see if she writes us back to tell us what other things he liked. Now, our mom who asked uh, before about the young man who is in his room all the time, the 15-year-old, she has written back to us and she said that you were right. He is obsessed with video games. She says his school was creating a special project for him, uh, for, for him and a group to create a new sign for the school. With the school being closed, that is on hold. He loves art. We brought more than $200 in supplies at Christmas as a Christmas gift, but he has no interest in any of it, Temple. Well, you can still design a new school, a new sign for the school, uh, and, and you can display it online and show it to people. And, and you can still work on design stuff. You know, we're, this is still going on now. Like we're doing cattle stuff. Uh, Mark, my assistant's doing uh, cattle stuff and, and we can't go anywhere. We can't travel, but, but, uh, we're still doing design work. When people write in to me about livestock stuff. We're still doing it. But Temple, how did your mother motivate you? I'm always amazed by the fact that your mother was so ahead of the curve. And you have told me before that if, if left to your own devices, you would have sat and spun the little metal plate at the end of your bed. And that's what you would have done all day long. How did your mom get you out of the bedroom, get you into the stalls with the horses, and then get you drawing horses? How did she well, get you I, to do drawing, that? Drawing horses I was doing in about third grade, because when I was in third grade, I would just um, uh, draw the same horse head over and over again. And she just suggested, well, let's draw the entire horse. Let's draw its saddle, draw its stable. Okay, you have a kid that loves cars. Well, let's look at different kinds of cars. In other words, take that fixation and broaden it. So it's not quite so fixated that um, uh, that's what people need to be doing. Uh, you figure out how to broaden it. And then when I went away to the special boarding school, um, I loved riding the horses and I got, um, I threw, um, still had some problems with anger. I had to turn anger to crying. And that's how I got rid of anger. And, and uh, they took riding away for two weeks after I got in a fist fight in the cafeteria. And, you know, then uh, we had remodeled the horse barn at our school and they suggested to start taking care of the horses. And I started doing it and liking it. You see, people have got to try stuff. You know, we've got to replace, give them a choice. You can do this art project or this. In other words, give them a choice of things to replace what you're doing. I was allowed to spin the little brass plate on my bed for an hour a day. Then we had to do something else. I could go outside and play with my kite, for example. Um, but we're going to do something else, but always give some choices. But the choice isn't going to be in your room all day, but you do have some downtime, do stuff like that. And they found they had to give the astronauts on the space station on an hour a day, which just uh, be their alone time. Hey. 
say thanks for watching Autism Live. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.